Okay, back at Target. It is July 30th. It is 6:20, and what's the chances they put those Indiana Jones figures on the pegs? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's do this. Well, there's no boxes in the aisles anymore, and they had like three or four people stocking the, the shelves earlier today. So, fingers crossed, they uh, got a lot done. Okay, we're coming up to the aisle. Oh, uh, I don't know. Nope. No Indiana Jones figures, man. They do have this. This is new, right? I think the bike from the World of Adventures. I think that's new. I haven't seen that one before. But, yeah, nothing. Dang. What a bummer, man. Let's see if there's anything... Over there. Yeah. Oh well. You know something? I need help. A team member will meet you here within 60 seconds. Thank you. Ooh, 60 seconds. I wonder. So they did come pretty fast. Uh, it was around 60 seconds, which is pretty cool. Um, but it was a manager that came over. I gave him the DPCI number. And he's going to go take a peek out back. Fingers crossed. It brings me something. What do you think? So it is the walk of shame. You get nothing. Uh, they said that pallet is probably wrapped up out back. He took a peek and he said they probably won't get to that aisle till like Tuesday. He said to check back Tuesday. It's probably the earliest time they would have them out. Well, the hunt is always the fun part. I mean, I could order them online and probably get them damaged but the hunt is the fun part so fingers crossed I will find them this week but in the meantime let's go to Home Depot and let's see if we can find some pegboard and some hopefully I have some better options than I did at Lowe's but let's go inside and check it out so it is a little overwhelming but if we look at storage it would probably be with the storage because that's where it is at Lowe's. So let's find storage. Lighting, electrical. We don't see any storage that way, so let's check down here. Um, I'll turn it back on when we get to storage. Aisle 17 for the pegboard and aisle 10 for the accessories. Okay. Well, it'll be a long walk, so we're only at 6 7. So I will show you when I get there. All right, that's the workout. I got my cardio in for the day. So here is aisle 17 and pegboard. Oh, is this it right here? So there is the pegboard and it is white and brown. Yeah, I don't know. If I want to go that route, I'll pull it down and show you. So these are 316, 2 feet by 4 feet, and that's 1224, which is a really good price. But I kind of like the metal ones that I just purchased at Lowe's, so this is a cheap way to do it, inexpensive. But, and I'd have to put like a board behind it. I'm sure so the hooks can go through the other side yeah I don't know it does look pretty decent but I'll have to uh, think about that one mainly because I see like the chip down the bottom and it is like particle board and my toy room is in like a basement area and it gets it does get um humid in there and damp just you know being in a basement i mean there's no water but yeah i don't know how the cardboard and this uh pegboard stuff will hold up to it i don't know okay aisle 10 for the the hooks do believe in the 
it's probably stuff like that. Yeah, right here. Different ones there. Let's see. So here we have for a dollar thirty. We have this style, which is basically what I just got at at um. Oh look it, they have the metal ones here. I think they're a little different. These are different. So that that one's uh, 16 by 16, yeah. This is just like the ones that I have. No, these are well. So these are different. They don't have a a backing like this. Oh, look at this one's uh, plastic. <laughs> This is actually not a bad idea for these. I kind of like the plastic because of um, the metal kind of scratches up. And these are ten dollars a piece, which isn't too bad. Hmm. You get plenty of them. Yeah. I don't know. I might do this. They don't look too bad. So here is the barcode if you want to check these out so look at this for a dollar thirty they have six inch and these are you know chrome right we have eight inch but look at these they have black ones I like the black yeah I might I might give this one a shot I kind of like the uh, Plastic, I don't have to worry about it scratching or rusting out at all. So yeah. Alright, I'm going to get a couple of these and give it a shot. So they do have 10 inch. But I think 10 inch is going to be a little too long for where I want to put these. They'll bang your head. So I think I'm going to get a, a few 8 inch. Because the 8 inch will be definitely long enough. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Awesome, I'm gonna pick up four of these. And one, two, three, four. Yeah, I'll pick up a bunch of these. Maybe uh, eight of these. Awesome. And here is the barcode for these if you're ever interested. Um, that was the 10 inch, that's the eight inch. And there's the six inch hooks the black ones and for this is the barcode I don't think I showed you on this one but maybe I did but um, here is the barcode for these in there and they're plastic which is cool and they're light the metal ones were pretty heavy so yeah I like it awesome so here's a look at the metal one that I hung up the other day and so you can put like two Black series side by side, which fits good. Or you could have like the vintage collection stack. But the only thing is, is when you stack one on top of the other, it will definitely hang past it. So, um, but this is just a a trial right now. And the metal one, I really do like. But they're a little bit heavy and they cost a few dollars more. And when all the figures are on it, I won't really notice the metal. So the plastic one hopefully will look decent. And even though these are pretty cool, like store, I do want to do the black, see how the black looks. And, uh, you know, for $1.40, it's not that bad to give it a shot. So, But I guess this is my biggest dilemma is do I put the pegs on this wall here and just load it up? Or do I do this wall here and I won't be able to go all the way to the end because of this shelf right here so I'd only be able to come to about there um, I am gonna be getting the Jabba Palace the vintage collection one and I was thinking on putting a shelf right here and having it displayed like in the middle of the room because that is the middle right there of the room that wall but this wall is pretty, it's much bigger. Well, not much, but it's bigger than this little wall here. So I might be able to put a smaller shelf here and put the Jabba's Palace right there. And that'll look decent. And that'll give me plenty of pegboard space. I can fill up that whole wall 
with pegboard. The only thing is, is I won't be able to put any pegs where this projector is. So, yeah, I get a little thinking to do what I want to do before I start tearing these figures down and and um, putting up the pegboards. But you'll know when I start it. So this is the plastic pegboard next to the the metal one. So, yeah, it doesn't look bad at all. It's just because it's plastic, it's a little, the holes are a little thicker. You can see the holes are thicker. So when the peg fits in it, it, um, I'm not sure if it'll sit in differently because this, the metal is just real thin. So the peg goes in nice and easy. So we'll find out. So here's a quick look at the pegboard just standing on the floor. And yeah, these, these fit in decent. I'll put some uh, figures on it and we'll see what it looks like. So I just put a Clone Wars Black Series on it. What's cool about it is it actually fits this little hook of the packaging. It fits right in that little crevice there, that little slot or whatever you want to call it. So it fits in there perfect. And then you get, um, well, these Vintage Collection are unpunched. Now, I know everybody says, oh, I want them all unpunched. I like them punched because then I can hang them. Because this is what I do, typically. There's a vintage collection figure. And that fits perfect, too. I mean, I'll definitely be able to put a bunch of figures on here. Including, like, you can put episode one figures on this. You know? I mean, it's not ideal if you want to display all your figures. But look at all that. All that. I'm sorry if it's getting blurry, but... All those, I'm like running out of space. So what was going to happen was I was going to have to box them up and put them away. And I would rather have, you know, a few stacked up like that because it reminds me of a store. It's kind of cool. So, and then you can switch them around every now and again. I probably won't do more than three at a time, you know, three on top of each other. And I'll try to match them up. I won't have it looking like that. You know, and I probably won't do vintage collection next to a black series, but I don't know. Maybe I will. We'll find out. So it has been decided measuring from end to end here. These are 16 inches. Uh, so 16 times three is 48 and exactly from window frame to window frame. It is exactly 48. Um, you know, maybe a little bit bigger. So it's going to fit in there. The only thing is I won't be able to put anything with the behind the projector. But that's fine. I can stack it around and go around here like that. So yeah, I guess it's going to go right there. And so to hang these, you would put a... I use a drywall screw. I don't like the screws that came with this. The thread is not um, good enough to hang on drywall. But... um. It's good because you don't need any 2x4s or anything like that behind it because those little plastic uh, pieces behind it give it the thickness you need to put these hooks on because without that, you wouldn't be able to put these through those holes. Pretty simple. And I can actually go pretty much all the way, almost to the bottom of here. So I'll have a bunch of pegs. I'll have to buy more, but I'll, I can go to about here, which is pretty cool.
Let's get some Empire figures up there. Well, I like the way it's coming out somewhat. I think what I want to do is I actually want to drop the panels down a little bit because this part here, I don't like the white. I want to have it all like black a little bit further. And I think I can shift the figures up a little bit more if that makes any sense because what's happening here is the pegs starting lower because I already put these in. So for me to put a peg in, these pegs have to go on an angle. And because it has to go on an angle, it's hitting the ceiling. So it's not allowing me to get up higher in those higher peg holes, if that makes sense. So I can actually bring it up like one or two uh, pegs higher if I bring this lower. And it'll be kind of cool because you see the border that goes around. It's like film strip border. Um, hey, so I just, um, the film strip border, if I go below that, like I originally wanted to do, I think that'll give me a little bit more space to bring it down. I can even come down a little bit lower, I believe. I'm going to take these two panels off, these two panels on the right, and see how it looks. So that'll be the test. And I'll leave these for now. And then if I like where it ends up, because they need to end up here. This is the spot where they need to be, but I want to bring the panels down a little bit so they're, it's more black across. And I think that'll look a little bit neater. But I like the way it's coming out. I do like this idea of the pegboard. So this was a trial on the floor, and I can put the peg basically on the second hole the second run and it'll give me like a, a half an inch to the top which is good it'll come close to here because when this comes down it gives me a little bit of space there and then the smaller figure here just about fills up that whole spot and it's really close to that figure there I mean once these go down that goes down a little bit it's actually like perfect so I like I'm gonna give this one a shot and try it over there but I actually did pick up two more of these panels so I can complete it and hopefully I'll be able to finish it tonight So this peg is down about four holes. So what I want to do is I want to put it on a second. So to make sure I have clearance, I'm going to do it before I hang it. So just because if you're putting these in and you get a ceiling here, these have to go in on an angle in order to put them in and then drop them down. So if the ceiling's hitting it, it won't allow it. So I'm going to put this one in first. Um, it'll be closest to the ceiling and then I'll screw them in. Okay, now I'm gonna hang up the figures to see if this is a good fit because of this projector is the only thing that's kind of um, getting in the way of how I'm gonna have the figures, but I think it should work and it should look pretty decent. I'll definitely have some more clearance um, and it'll look decent so they won't be touching the figures on the bottom here. So hopefully this works out good. Fingers crossed. Okay, I think I like it. This looks good. I'm gonna drop down these two a little bit. And so I have plenty of clearance here. So if I have any figures that are taller, they won't hit these figures and them hanging down a little bit um, compared to what it was, that's much better. Um, you don't have much space between these two figures, but that's fine. 
and you definitely have uh, more space here which is good um, so you can move figures in and out and then you have a nice space up there so you can see the border of the movie strip going across because I like that effect it's cool it goes all the way around the room believe it or not it's probably something you've never seen before but yeah even over here they definitely have some holes in them from hanging up uh, hanging things up there but yeah it goes all the way around the room but yeah so I'm gonna drop these and uh, and add the other boards and hopefully it'll be done all right let's take a look at the pegboards before I put the figures on I'm pretty happy I think it come out really good and I'm definitely gonna be able to fit a ton of figures on this so with the magic of a snap of a finger, there you go. We have 38, let me turn down that light. We have 38 Black Series figures hung up there and 21 retro figures and there's still room for more. Let's take a closer look. So look at that. It actually looks really good. So what I had to do is I actually dropped this peg right here. I dropped it one. I had it higher originally, but this gives me a little bit more clearance for the figures. It does drop the figures down a little bit past the black pegboard, but I think it looks fine. It looks good like that. Um, and it gives a little bit more space so they're not butting up against each other. But yeah, look at that. 38 black series figures and 21 retro and there's still room for more so i think i'm going to put two more up here so i can add excuse me sorry for the mess is i do have some episode one figures and some clone war black series that i should be able to put up top there and i think it'll look pretty good so yeah, it was a little bit of work and uh, a little bit of adjusting, but I like it. It looks good. It's it's like a store, man. Look at this. So I want to thank Super Awesome Geek Show and Gilster37 for giving me this idea to do this. I know uh, John talked about this quite a while ago. He did a video, but um, I wasn't so keen on the idea for a pegboard, but... When you're running out of space, you kind of have no choice. And I think it looks good. And then you can rotate these figures around. But yeah, I like it. So thank you guys. So I hope this video gave you some ideas on your collection. Maybe you can squeeze in a few more figures by doing things like that. And I guess that's the idea. We're always trying to find more space in our collection. And I think this is a pretty good solution. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, do all that good stuff. Remember, we are all Geek Strong. Take care, everyone. Hmm. That gives me an idea for this collection. Awesome. Part two coming soon. <laughs>